How does the size of the dominant follicle affect ovulation? Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be discussing a fascinating aspect of the human reproductive system, ovulation. More specifically, we'll be looking at how the size of the dominant follicle affects this crucial process. What is ovulation? To understand the role of the dominant follicle, we first need to understand what ovulation is. Ovulation is the process in the menstrual cycle where a mature egg is released from the ovary, pushed down the fallopian tube, and made available for fertilization. This process is controlled by several hormones, but the star of today's discussion is the follicle. What is the dominant follicle? In each menstrual cycle, several follicles begin to mature in the ovary under the influence of follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. Each follicle contains an immature egg. However, usually, only one follicle, known as the dominant follicle, completes maturation. This follicle then releases the egg during ovulation. How does the size of the dominant follicle affect ovulation? The size of the dominant follicle is a critical factor in ovulation. Typically, the dominant follicle grows between 1 to 3 millimeters per day during the follicular phase of the menstrual cycle. When it reaches about 18 to 24 millimeters in diameter, it is large enough to trigger a surge of luteinizing hormone, LH, which is the hormonal signal for ovulation to occur. If the follicle does not reach this size, the LH surge may not occur, and ovulation may not happen. Thus, the size of the dominant follicle is vital in ensuring successful ovulation and the possibility of fertilization and pregnancy. Can the follicle size affect fertility? Yes, the size of the follicle can indeed affect fertility. If the follicles are consistently not reaching the necessary size to trigger the LH surge, this can lead to anovulation, a condition where ovulation does not occur. Anovulation is a common cause of infertility. It's important to note that other factors can also influence fertility, but the size and health of the dominant follicle are certainly key components. In conclusion, the size of the dominant follicle plays a crucial role in ovulation and fertility. It's a fascinating aspect of the reproductive system that shows the intricate balance of hormones and physical conditions necessary for reproduction. We hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of this complex process. Stay curious and keep exploring.